If you enjoy the content, please check out dendem.com, which redirects to my Facebook page where I share MTG comics, memes, and other videos that I've done. There's also occasionally decks there, so please check it out. Hello and welcome back to the stream. Today we're going to be playing a Aetherworks Marvel deck, just like all the other cool kids. Uh, what's going to set this deck apart compared to the other Aetherworks Marvels deck is we're going to be running a one of Palooka Worm, which will be very good for getting us back into the game when we start falling behind against something like Burn or another hyper-aggressive deck. The other thing is we're running a lot less of our our hits off of our uh, Marvel. There's only one Ulamog and two Ugins along with the Palooka Worm. Uh, as the trade-off, we're running more copies of Oro, which will keep us in the game longer, and the Aetherwork Stopper, uh, Thopters, Theorist? Aetherwork Theorist. Um, he's going to let us scry either at the ends of our turns or at the beginning of our turn before we draw. And this will let us try to set up either our marvels or to make sure that what we're getting off the top of the deck is actually what we want. So let's get into our games and see how it goes. Uh, his hand's a little slow. We have two marvels, so we're at least good against discard. We have the auras for ramp. We just need to be able to hit a third land. That's a good start for them. Nice and slow. No need to rush it. Well, they got a swamp. Oh. Looks like they're running Explore. down. Uh, we can either play Oro next turn or um, play our Puzzle Knot and get our energy higher for Marvel when we can get that down. Guess next turn our opponent will start gaining life. Uh, drop the tap land. Go to the puzzle lot. Oh, second one, my cat. I don't want to take the chance of getting punished for blocking here, so I'm just going to take the one damage. Feel bad to lose our creature over one damage. Okay, that's pretty good. That gets us to six energy. Oh, we can play our marble. And activate our marble. That's not very helpful. Go with the puzzle knot. Next turn we can crack one of the puzzle knots and get four energy back. Oh. They got a Coco. Explore a bit, get some life, get some land drops off of Zusa. Bigger. 
played a very similar deck to this in standard, you know, without the Azusas. It was a lot of fun. Wild Grove Walker just got so big, and it just helped so much against the burn decks that were really popular at the store I was playing it at. Okay, they tutored up. I'm assuming it's, um... Uh, I might be getting their... Com I think it's Command the Dread Horde. Preparation for bringing everything back. Um... So we can play a Puzzle Knot, and we can crack a Puzzle Knot. We can play Oro. We'll go with Oro. So that'll put us to four energy when we have to sacrifice them. And then we play the other Puzzle Knot. That'll put us to seven. Go for it. Huh, that's weird. It's only one card. Did I miss something? Nothing should affect the number of cards I'm looking at off the marvel. Uh, it's probably just a visual bug. Ah, they got the Citadel. That makes sense. Yeah, right, right, right. Marvel doesn't, um, puts it at the bottom of the deck in a random order. Probably mostly dead here, unless we can reveal an Ugin off the top. Their dog is so noisy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe they did get Command the Dreadword. I'm not sure which one got tutored up, but it was one of those. <laughs> yep. Guys get bigger. Guys get bigger. So, our turn, we can play the, the Servant of the Conduit. That'll put us at 6 energy. Or we can crack some Puzzle Knots. So, I just gotta hope to get really lucky. Oh. Well, that's a win con. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I'll just block. It'll get me some energy. They're not doing us any good right now, anyway. <laughs> okay. We're at six energy now. Uh, Ugin off the top? Please? Pretty please? I <laughs> Coco. Oh, that was lucky. I mean, staring down this group of guys and saying that was lucky is not <laughs> saying very much. <laughs> yeah, that's not very helpful. Let's activate. Oh, Eugene. Eugene, could you please pull us back into this game kicking and screaming? Get the 
their citadel off the field. Make them sacrifice their stuff. Which will put us to five life, and we can gain some life back with the puzzle knots. Gas back in the tank. And get our Marvel ready for next turn. Our clock is slow. I need more than this to finish the game out. Energy, sacrifice Oro, get an energy. Yeah. I would just want to gain the life back. Eleven is a scary number. When they're able to just go off on their turn and uh, use the Citadel to just drain us for ten. the cocoa. This is why we left up the marble rather than activating it. Just want to hold off on the marble and hopefully hit as many cards as we can um, with whatever we get off the top. Ugh, I think I've also said it all. Pretty good game. Uh, double Citadel. Okay. Alright. Player Worm. Back to 21. Okay, so... We have no interaction now, so we can just pass and see if we're dead. off. I can't imagine they can't find something that just, yeah. Nope, and there's their life gain. More life gain. Uh, so they'll start playing their explore guys. They'll gain more life than they're losing for playing the guys, and that'll just keep letting them chain them into more guys.
close at the magic number. a good game though. Oh, speaking of slow hands from the previous one, um, hmm. Yeah, I think we can make this work. Let's get our scry. That's okay. So I think next time we're going to be playing a tune with Aether. Get ourselves a land. And probably play this tap land here. What's our opponent doing? Nothing. Lens, and we will play our Sage. It's just a 2 1. It's just a 2 1 that got stomped into the ground. But the energy lives on. Yeah. Our theorist is here. Get us to 6, 7 energy. Player puzzle not. Get us some life. Get some more energy. Okay, more than enough energy now. Now let's just find ourselves a marvel. More stomps. Hmm. I guess our opponent must be on an adventure deck, I guess. Seeing what we've uh, succumbed to so far. Let's go with this because it's not a forest. I don't want to lose one of our forests to removal. Gotta just do the beast. No, I'll, I'll block. Cool. And I guess I will Ugin. Right? Yeah. And then untap one of my lights. After we uh, get rid of their guys. Bye bye. Now let's get one of our lands untapped. I want to do this one. Swing in for three. And we can attune for Aether. And we're 12 energy. Let's get our theorist out. We can start scrying. Use some of this energy. Get ourselves a good draw. Okay. Yeah, it definitely looks like an adventure deck. Hmm. Fire him. Untap just the island. And swing it for six. And leave the theorist to uh, set up our next draw. Yep. some lands. I 
chance for losing a forest here. And we'll just use that energy to uh, crack a puzzle lot. Resolves. Resolves. Alright, some humans. Pass. Pass. Let's activate. Uh, we don't need more energy. Oh, for Fuka. Uh, it did not register my full control. We missed a chance to uh, scry before we drew. Oh, well. Well, air puzzle not. 21 energy. Minus one. So another land and swing for six. And there are two. Uh, so we can close this game out. It's not going to do it. We don't need that. This time, I am holding full control. My turn. Activate. Yes, good game, opponent. But I will hold that until I actually shrive one. <laughs> Animate one more land. Sure, lethal. Good games. Okay, let's get on to our next one. Notice I am starting a lot of games with tap lands, but I guess that kind of makes sense. We are running a lot of uh, slower lands. There we go. We have our forest, we can do a tune. So far I see Simic over there. And goose. Get our servant down. They're on teamer. <laughs> Marvel. Let's see if it survives for us to uh, activate it next turn. Looks like they're looking for a land drop for their uh, burst fire elemental. So our opponent is on elementals. Nope. Okay. We're gonna play our forest, get our servant down. We can play our sage too. And activate our marble. Yeah, it's probably just close out. I'll just get these guys. Big bad Nulamog. Yeah, you see games like that, and this deck looks good, and you have the games like the previous one. Well, the first one, I mean. Yeah. 
sometimes Nullamark just gets you. Uh, that's one's pretty good. So our opponent may be on ores. Meaning like the Bogles deck. Which is a deck near and dear to my heart. Um, I guess it could be Arcanist too. Arcanist probably looking more likely. Arcanist looking very, very likely. Arcanist almost assured. <laughs> Uh, let's get this down. Gets us to six energy. Drop our aura. Get some life. And play our tap land. See if we can scry something nice. Not really. On the bright side, we're four lands from uh, Ugin. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I could have left it back to block, but I was feeling cheeky. You can have that land. Get a pyro me. I'll take two. Oh god, that dog is gonna get on my nerves. Unless I'm recording, I typically don't play with the headset on, so I don't listen to the audio that's going on. And I have never sat here and listened to this dog before. Oh my god, that's obnoxious. Oh, yeah. I've had dogs before. They're not that bad. <laughs> And my good cat is just sitting there, nice, quiet, watching the battlefield, not judging me. Activate our guy. Let's see what we scry. Uh, it will give us a card draw. Yeah, I think we'll go for that. I'm gonna put a meat shield in front of the uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist that he has to at least throw some removal at. So, go meat shield. Let's see what we get. A uh, blank. Uh, yeah. I got this place tapped. I'm trying to decide between putting the forest out and then cycling this or just putting it out. This way, we're slowly building towards Eugene. Because we're going to end up losing him to their Titan if he keeps making us discard turn after turn. I said Titan, I meant Giant. I see a 6-6 six, six, uh, with a enter the battlefield and attack ability, and my brain goes Titan. But Titans are giants. Okay, we got a Sage, which is just another road bump. Gonna hold on to the land just in case we have to uh, discard a card. A 
ataque. Discard our forest. Oh. Gonna sack that for some cards. Okay. And we're still one card off of Oro. If he attacks, I will totally block because I need to get a card in my graveyard. it to oh he saw the line let's cry nope get on the bottom right yeah get on the bottom on tap scry again I do like this card it's very nice for this deck that's some more energy not something I'm really looking for now. What do we got? Uh, feel a lot better of having this Ugin in my hand if I just had a couple more lands to throw away. But we're gonna end up losing him at this rate. Though, on the bright side, if we do lose him, uh, we do have enough fuel in the uh, graveyard for Uro. <laughs> and there he goes. Okay. Bye, Ugin. is back. Gonna croak some me. Nope. Gotta priest me. Hold full control for when our uh, theorist can draw us up a theory of what's gonna happen next turn. My turn. Scry. Oh, no thank you. It would have been fine if we're still ramping to Ugin, but that's not happening now. And another blank. Okay, we're going to play the hub. Play our Ugin. And on the bright side, if we get a Marvel, we can play the Breeding Pool untapped. Well, that's really wishful thinking. <laughs> yep. Um, so play this tapped. No attacks. Okay, Oro, could you please hold off our opponents for a little bit and maybe not just, uh, be taken from us and attacked with it? <laughs> worried because we really haven't seen claim the bait firstborn and I'm assuming that's gonna end up taking Oro. Ah, uh, can activate the priest. Okay. We'll throw our sage into the fire here. Lose our land. We 
still in this game, but barely. Oh, goody. Oh, no. They have a Dreadhorde Arcanist, so they could still, uh, steal our guy with Claim the Firstborn. It's in their graveyard now. Hmm. And double Arcanist. They're checking the graveyard. That's just good. We lose three life. Full control. Pass. Scry. Um, hmm. That's not awful in comparison to our previous draws. It gives us a creature every turn. Deal. Huh. Stop the move to our main phase. Cast Nizzle. Pick this land. Swinging in with Aura because I really want to draw a card, and I don't think we're going to get to keep him. Firstborn in the graveyard now. Hmm. Those are less cards I have to worry about them playing before combat. If they swing out and we have no blockers, that's lethal. So they would have to deal with the forest. Because that's 18. After the three life loss, it doesn't look like they can deal with the forest yet. Oh, wait, they could have. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if they had swung with everything, use the Dreadhorde Arcanist to steal the forest with the Claim the Firstborn, that would have gotten rid of our blocker. And that should have been enough to get us, right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I think they missed lethal. Well, that's lucky. I think what they were thinking was stealing the forest and then using it to sacrifice to play the uh, removal spell, but that doesn't work. 
I could be wrong. But I definitely know they miss lethal. So... Ugin off the top? Please? No. Oh well. So in with Oro for one more uh, look at the deck. Woo! Glimmer of hope. Marvel? Not hating the worm here. And next turn we can activate the Marvel again. Maybe even get a Nugan. What do they have to throw at us from their graveyard? To claim the firstborns, to claim the uh, What's nice about the worm is it's a good blocker for the Croxas and Oros of the uh, meta. Because it's one more on power and toughness. Gains you the life to get you back in the game. And if they happen to kill it, you still get a card. Now, the being a good defender against Kroos is a little less truthful simply because they have the fames to give it plus two plus O. Oh. So if they decide to do that, we're just going to be throwing uh, some random critter under them. Throw it under the bus, buy us a turn. And then our worm can block whatever other creature they happen to attack with. We just need to buy ourselves some time to activate Marvel a few more times. Sacrifice. Huh. Maybe Oro. If we do Oro, then I can get more life. Hmm. Nah. Mm, sure. Uh, choices. Yeah, or is tapped. He's not a blocker. And then we can just uh, cast him from our graver and we get a chance. Get another card. Okay. He's thinking whether he wants to throw his... Uh, Crooks under the worm. Yeah. With his sweet life, and we'll block with our servant. Good night, energy. Okay. Hold full control for our theorist. What do we got this turn? Another marvel. Um, hmm. Try and decide if we want to do that to then get another spin, but I don't. We won't have enough energy to 
do that. Once we activate our Marvel, we only have two left. We play this Marvel. That'll give us two more energy. That'll put us to four. Yeah. Bottom. And activate. Hmm. Nessa or the Oro? Yeah, go with Nessa. Yeah, draw. Cool, something we can cycle. Nope, missed a card, missed a card, missed a card. Go back, there we go, there we go. Resolves. Yeah. Not helpful. Nope. To the bottom. Uh, I guess we cycle. Cycle again. Um. Yeah. Gave through more life. Keep our Oro. Lose the new one. Gain through life. Get energy. Draw a card. Play a lands. Pretty sure we'd be long since dead if we did not have four auras in the stack. So I don't know if that's saying the strength of the deck or just the strength of Oro. I know the Blue Worm has pulled our uh, feet out of the fire. has been a longer game. This will probably be the last one for the night. Yeah, another stitcher. I saw a planeswalker removal over there. Yep. And that'll let them get rid of Nyssa. So if they kill Nyssa, or the Palooka Worm, mind you, that'll put us to 5 energy. Let's see what they do. Okay, so they double something. Is it going to be the Worm or Nyssa?
think we still have both the Ugans left in our deck. So that's two possible hits off of the marble. Okay, yep, they went for the worm. So that puts us to five energy. Uh, we'll block with the temple, which puts us to six. Which will let us just activate. Huh. I think we will... Uh, six, eight, nine. Yeah. I'm gonna take the... Yeah, there we go. I want Aura to live because I'd like to attack with him again because that gives us another draw to draw the Ugin. Okay. So they're gonna draw some cards. Some more cards. Let me start to run over out uh, cards over there. They have 10 cards left, yeah. They've seen so many cards this game. Oh, I hate that dog. Okay. Full control, pass. Resolves. Thoughtsies, yeah, take the sage. <laughs> please. <laughs> take my sage, please. There, honestly, it's just Dugan or Bust. We have nothing left to throw at them at this point. Most of their cards are on the table. My turn. Activate the Theorist. We've got... Ulamog. Well, we could definitely cast him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13 mana. So we could cast him and activate the Marvel or... Go one more card deeper for the Ugin. Draw. And I think I'd like rather just go the one card deeper. Nope. Okay, player Fable Passage. Crack that. Get the last energy we need. I think we don't have any lands left to grab anyway. Oh, we have a forest left. Nice. Activate our Marvel, probably for the last time. Oh, thank you! Fuyuchi! Now, we have to minus three him, because we have to get little Loris. So let's attack with our Oro, get another card in our hand. And they'll chump. And minus. Minus three. Oh, those are hard fought, opponent. Well, thank you for joining me again this week, and I hope to see you back next week. Bye bye.